Christmas came early to dozens of Navy families. Nearly 150 Naval aviators arrived home from a seven-month deployment. The Air Wing was the first to deploy with a brand new aircraft carrier, George H.W. Bush. Ten on your side was there when they landed. It really is like Christmas morning. Little girls in fancy holiday dresses, a boy sporting a red Santa hat, his sister green earplugs. I'm going to surprise him. And that's how you know it's not Santa, but Daddy who's coming to town. You cannot ask for a better present. He is my Christmas present. The anticipation in the hangar compares to that around the tree at home, minus the boxes to shake. Skype is the closest they've come into contact in seven months. I don't think it's exciting to them to talk to them on the computer because they don't get to touch them. They don't get to hug them. No, there really is nothing like the real thing. <laughs> Ask anyone. Heck yeah, it's awesome. Uh, really excited to get everybody back, uh, bring airplanes back, and uh, just in time for the holidays. Or just look at the smiles on their faces. Christmas may be two and a half weeks away, but these guys can't wait another minute to get home for the holidays. All right, I, I, I got to get, get my family home. All right, All right cool. thank you. Thanks. He did not have time to talk to us. I can't blame him, really. Four squadrons returned to Naval Air Station Oceana. Two others landed at Chambers Airfield at Naval Station Norfolk. They all supported Operation Enduring Freedom. The rest of the USS H.W. Bush Carrier Strike Group will be home this weekend. Nearly 6,000 sailors are scheduled to arrive home on Saturday. This is video from the ship's maiden deployment in May. The group was deployed for seven months, supporting operations with the Navy's 5th and 6th fleets in the Mediterranean and Arabian Seas. Welcome home.